Welcome to the Wildlife Nature Protection Society lecture series for the month of September. We have to get a few announcements out of the way. Uh, initially, we'd like to thank Nations Trust Bank for being a wonderful sponsor of this event and of Wildlife Nature Protection Society. And at this stage, we'd like to call both Teja Silva and Priyanta Talwata so that we can hand over the the first Loris magazine for the year uh, to them. Rukshan and Ayanti Samarajiva, our editor, and Rukshan Jayawadana, our president, would be giving it to them. Thank you, Nations Trust Bank. We appreciate your support. We also like to thank Pro Image and Mohan Fernando for support with the video coverage, past lectures, which are now available on the WNPS website. <clears throat> CJ and team at Sarva Advertising for their creative support. Dilma and the three service, which you always enjoy right after the lecture. Our next month lecture will be on human elephant conflict management. We be, will we ever learn from our past mistakes? By Dr. Sumit Pilapitya, former Director General of Wildlife Conservation. I would like to call on Rukshan Jayawadana now to give a brief introduction on our main speaker today. Rukshan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this September lecture. Um, today I have a great pleasure in welcoming Dr. Eric Vikramanayaka, my friend and colleague, uh, in wildlife uh, to deliver this lecture. Um, I would, uh, he's a much accomplished biologist uh, and a senior scientist. So let me just read you something about uh, his recent work. Um, Dr. Vikramanayaka is a conservation biologist with over 25 years of experience throughout Asia. He works on landscape scale spatial planning for conservation of endangered large, large mammals in Asia. He has an ecosystem-based approach to reducing climate change vulnerabilities and assessing e-flows or environmental flows. He was a senior conservation scientist with the World Wildlife Fund, a research fellow with the Smithsonian Institution, senior strategic advisor with the Biodiversity and Wildlife Program at Resolve, and a consultant conservation advisor to the ADB's GMS BCC project. He is also current chair of the Environmental Foundation Limited, EFL in Sri Lanka. That's where um, I'm on that board, so we do interact quite a bit. And he is a friend as well. Um, EFL, um, he uh, took uh, over the chair of EFL about three years ago. And since then, um, EFL has um, become quite dynamic and uh, more relevant than it was for some time. And uh, we are quite glad to see him at the helm, uh, guiding EFL through what was uh, initially quite a difficult time. EFL is the Environmental Foundation Limited. And the principal uh, organization in Sri Lanka that litigates in uh, on behalf of the environment and also individual environmental rights. Um, so I won't speak further because we've already taken up a bit of time. Uh, I'd like to, uh, it is my honor and pleasure to invite Dr. Eric Vikramanayaka to speak to you on today's subject. Thank you. 